What's up guys, Chitty Husky here with another ATS video and today we'll be checking more of Arizona. Yes, I am on board of my Volvo VNL 670 and there's a couple of things to say about this truck and it's that it's a new version, I will include the link on the description. Um, this truck has now been optimized for 1.3 so it is not giving any errors in the log which is which is pretty good. Now we will be going to hold on a second, let me check. We're going to Holbrook in Arizona. Uh, I'm not sure how long the trip will take, but it is through a new area that I haven't seen myself, so yes, let's enjoy the trip. Let me just change my display here. There we go. Uh, let's see what else. Um, the first Make sure I'm able to get out of here. Um, yeah, that tree is in the way. Hopefully, we'll be able to see more new areas of Arizona, which I'm sure we will. But if I can get out of here, of course. I'm not carrying too much weight. Uh, cargo is, uh, eh, well, it's, it's stuff. <laughs> Uh, so I might know what that is, but I'm not gonna say it. Now, um, let's see, oh boy. I was gonna make another vi video which is showing off the Volvo because it does have a lot of options. There's nothing that has been added uh, which is new, but, oh, I barely made it. But this truck is very, very complete and it's a truck that you guys should definitely check out. Still thinking of making a feature video about the Volvo, basically all my trucks, which I will do in the future. Uh, sorry if I'm getting stuck here, because I'm having quite a hard time getting out of this parking lot. Okay, now once I get in the highway, I'll talk a little bit more. Ooh. Oh boy, okay. Yes, I got out. I haven't really played ever since I uploaded the last video, so there hasn't been much to see, uh, well, much to talk about because I haven't really seen anything. This truck is looking as beautiful as always. Just a few, a uh, few complaints, which is that the truck does does lag a little bit when you get in the interior view. But then again, it has a lot of details. The dash in this truck is just absolutely gorgeous. Its textures are very high, high, highly detailed. It has lots of options. Very few mods, other than the 389 and the T800, have these many options as a Volvo. Uh, I'm glad this uh, modder by the name of Aradeth took his time, you know, to improve this truck, because. For those who have been playing the the game since ETS2, you know that the VNL is really not that new in the series. There's been quite a few, a few op, uh, well, a few mod versions available. None of them really like extraordinarily, extraordinarily good. I mean, the truck looks good, but it had a lot of errors, and most of the times it didn't work. The modders really didn't didn't really care for updating the the mod at all. Just a few modders here and there, you know, picked up the old mod and kind of kept it going for a while. It was the Volvo 780, if I'm not mistaken. It was until someone took the... Uh, well, they actually didn't take the 670. They, they actually created the 670. Which the truck really started, you know, to pick up, you know, and, and look good. Still didn't have as many options as the, as the Peterbilt and the Canworth, but the truck looked gorgeous, you know, where it worked pretty well. And now that ATS is out, well, this truck has been taken to a new level, really. I am going to make another video just featuring this truck because, oh boy, let me tell you, it has so much, so many options in it, there's just a lot to talk about it. It's 
see if I get some lag here. Yeah, my frames are dropping to 50, well, 58. It's not too bad. Probably drop a little further, but yeah, I guess it happens. I mean, ATS always lags a little bit. It doesn't really matter how how good of a computer you have, really. Also, consider that I'm recording, so. Very good sounds from this Volvo, by the way. Uh, the sound was made by Kurichibum, of course. It is a custom sound, made exclusively for this truck. It's one of the Volvo engines. Now there are a lot of Volvo engines for this truck, and not only the ones from Kurichibum, but from another modder called Nato. Uh, well, if you like them better, I mean, of course you can you can always go for those. Uh, they're very different, of course. Kind of prefer these. Well, Kurichibum sounds. They're a little bit more accurate for me. Come on. Notice that this truck doesn't really have much power to it. I am using a 455 horsepower engine, which should be more than enough. But apparently it's not. It's struggling a little bit, you know, to pull this load. I'm not sure how how heavy it is, but it's around 39,000 pounds, so shouldn't be having that much much trouble. Still in, we're still in Nevada, in Las Vegas. Hopefully we'll be getting to the highway soon. Pretty nice shake break there. Not too loud, but it's throaty. It sounds really nice. Once I get out of uh, Vegas, I'll probably get a better frame rate. <coughs> Excuse me. I should be able to make the right turn here. Should have looked left, but I'm sure there's no one coming my way. So this area over here already looks different. I'm sure this exit was not in the original map. Uh, I, might, I might have to check the, the map to see if this was already there or not. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a little bit of a sore throat so I will not be talking that much. miles an hour. Now we can really push it. Yeah, this truck might need a, a more powerful engine, or maybe the 18-speed EF, because right now I'm running on the 13-speed. So, uh, well, the last the last four gears, even though they're split, they're pretty much def uh, the same as the 18-speed, but it does need a little bit more more power on the on the first four gears. And even right now, it's struggling a little bit.
I think I'll have to go f uh, for the 500 horsepower engine because I am I am flooring it right now like my foot is all the way down and yes we're in Arizona right now so yeah I was right this uh, portion of the street that uh, exit from Vegas was was new so I don't remember the street and right now we're officially in Arizona so let's see where this takes us try not to go to too fast Oops, sorry. Yeah, I almost... I made that guy break. Oh, this is quite, quite a steep downhill. Oh, boy. My truck was not stopping there. That was kind of scary. Oh! Oh boy. I'm like hitting the brakes as hard as I can, you know, as hard as I safely can. And also the Jake brake. Maybe the retarder would help here a little bit. I really don't use retarder, but it might it might help. Not sure what the retarder does. Um I think it well, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, unless there's someone out there, you know, who knows who can explain it better, but I think it does kind of break the or slows the transmission down or some sort of electronic break on the transmission basically again I'm not sure that's just what I vaguely heard so I'm not sure how it works Jake brake I do know how it works basically uh, there's I can't really explain it mechanically speaking, but what it does, it, it uses the compression of the cylinders, you know, to break the, to slow down the truck. So it is what it what it what it is basically an engine brake. Basically, it closes the exhaust of valves while the cylinder is going, while the piston is going out into compression. Basically, closes the exhaust valves so you get the exhaust being compressed and it breaks the you know it, it slows down the engine and it breaks the, the truck so when it opens that valve again there's compressed uh, exhaust gases uh, that come out all of a sudden and that's why it makes that sound you know, it's really loud Okay, so we're stopping here. Let's see how much this cargo weights because I honestly I'm struggling a lot to pull this thing. It doesn't even look like a heavy load. Anyway, let's see. So we're weigh ooh, oh my god. We're weighing ninety-three thousand pounds. Oh my god, no wonder. I thought it was like forty thousand pounds. Okay, so this is officially heavier than the tree. This trailer here full of stuff. <laughs> stuff because I really, I really don't want to say what it is. I just thought that you know, the design is the design of the trailer is pretty nice. I do know what this is, but yeah, yeah. I guess it's pretty packed packed in in there. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny too. That's why I'm using this truck, you know, this trailer. It's kind of like a joke. <laughs> Not really, but... That is a real thing, actually. <laughs> Not gonna talk about it, though. <laughs> some of you might know, some of you might not know, some of you are gonna Google it. But, I advise you not to. <laughs> Alright, um... So, we're... In a... Mm, no, this is not. This is like a little town, I guess. Okay, dude, you really need to let me. You know, I don't know if I should change the lanes. No, I mean, you know what? I'm gonna keep going.
think, uh, yeah, I need to turn around. Yeah, I'm gonna need to. Okay, guy, okay. Can you let me, can you let me through, guy? Hey, guy. What's up, Escalate? Yep, thank you. I kind of push him a little bit there. Maybe I shouldn't have, but, oh well. Getting pretty significant frame rate drops right now. I'm down to 49. Uh, I guess, well, there's two trucks with beacons, one next to me and the other one right in front, uh, which, uh, f wow, the, those beacons are like, <laughs> yeah, see, that's the kind of glitch that I've been, I've been seeing, I guess it has to do with the mod trucks, but hey, at least it works, you know, okay, 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 uh, let's see, hopefully I get the green light, nope. You know, so far I've only seen the the mud trucks with beacons, and yeah, sometimes they will kind of glitch a little bit, as you've seen. Still getting a lot of frame rate drops here. Okay, you guys need to let me pass. Yeah, uh, yeah, that guy wants to turn right. So once I get on the highway, let's push it here. Ooh. Oh man, yeah, yeah. This truck is struggling. Once I get in the highway, uh, frame rates should go go to normal. And yes, I'm back to 60. Oop. Quite interesting roads we're seeing here, by the way. This highway does not look anything like, you know, the highways that you see in, in Nevada and California, so that's good. Uh, excuse me, I'm having my, a cup of coffee here. Not sure if I should switch lanes. Yeah, I'm going to switch lanes. Oh, just in time. Trying to catch up speed here. It's a little uphill section. And I really want to go to the exterior camera, but I really don't know these roads. I don't want to be you know, surprised by a tight turn or something. As I've said before, it's really hard to control a truck uh, with the outside camera. While well, you're trying to steer you know, with your right hand, use the mouse with the left hand and shift the gears with the right hand too, so you're <laughs> kinda of stuck. Stuck doing a bunch of things. I, I need an extra an extra hand <laughs> basically. And yes for those who might be watching this video for the first time or anyone who just found my channel, uh, yes I do use a G27 uh, yeah, I play fully manual, clutch, each shifter, uh, I use a splitter switch, a range switch, I have them all set up on my, on the red buttons basically. Uh, the far left I got the range uh, switch, and second, from left to right I got the, I got the splitter. On the game options, uh, depending on the transmission that I'm using, like this one, for, this truck has the 13 speed, and whoa, I can see a Kenworth in my rearview mirror trying to race me or something. <laughs> and he's kind of beating me. Um, so yeah, uh, on the options uh, from the game itself, depending on what transmission I'm using, if I'm using an EF13, like the one I'm using right now, I will set it up to EF13, which will actually give you the, the real gear pattern on your G27 shifter. Uh, that's one of the things I really love about ATS. It's that you don't you don't have to mess up with the SLI uh, 
S SII files. Like in ETS2, when you drove the, these American trucks and you had the 13 speeds and the 18 speeds, uh, you didn't really have the real pattern. You had to modify the SII files so you could get the, the actual pattern. There was a very neat little uh, software that let you do that. You basically just set up each gear, uh, set up the range separately, the split separately, uh, the reverse separately. They just you just saved it. Uh, then you copy pasted it into the game file, and that was it. You got realistic patterns. You weren't stuck with the classic, you know, six speed pattern. Uh, which, yeah, it's, ooh, oh my god, okay, uh, maybe I should go straight, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go straight. So yeah, you were not st st stuck, you know, with the first, second, third, fourth, uh, fifth, sixth, you know, you know, the, uh, the the actual pattern from the from the shifter, and then you change, you know, to to seventh, uh, you basically used the, the, the range switch, and went back to where first is, you know, you basically only had, like, uh, 12 speed options basically. If you wanted more than that, you would have to set a second range switch, which completely destroyed you know the, the realism because there's really no such thing. Um, I saw a lot of people playing like that um, until I told them about the, you know the how to how to modify the SII files, and it makes it a lot e a lot easier. I mean, it's pretty cool to have the realistic pattern, but it's also a lot easier. You basically only well, for a 13 speed and 18 speed, you basically only use four slots, four slots uh, of the uh, on the gear a shifter. Uh, the other two slots you use one for reverse and the other one for for the low gears if your transmission has one. But yeah, basically you will only use the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth slot on the gear shifter, and that's that's all you need. I mean, you got all your gears there. All your 13, 18 gears, you got them there. The reverse uh, slot, like in the G27, you don't use that. In here, you know, with the EF transmissions, you don't, you don't use that. Instead, you use the first gear slot. So, Okay, we're seeing lots of desert here. Um, still not quite dark yet. It's 10:20, so yeah, you would expect it to be a lot darker, but it's not dark. Not sure where I am, but uh, we're getting pretty close to the, to our destination. So far, there's really not much to say, but you know, the the highway itself looks different, I guess. I'm gonna change the, the view because this looks pretty straight. There we go. Oh, never seen this trailer at night. It looks pretty nice. It has lots of lights. And see, and the good thing about driving in in, in Nevada and also in Arizona is that you got a higher uh, speed limit. You don't you're not limited to 55 miles an hour like in California. It takes you forever. Like this was a 12. This was a 12-hour drive, and I'm already like two hours from from my destination because I've been keeping at high speed. Well, as fast as the truck can go, because th as as you saw, this trailer is like super heavy for some reason. Never really seen a trailer that gets close to 100 uh, 100,000 pounds. Not even the tree. The tree weighs like what 83,000 pounds. This thing was weighing more than 90. people really need their stuff <laughs> I guess they're heavy I'm not sure I'm, I don't know. don't google it I'm not kidding don't google it and if you know don't say anything don't leave it in the comments please <laughs> let's keep this safe for work And we should be getting close to a little town here. I'm not, not sure if it's going to be like a small town or a big city, but we are going to see it soon. Uh, let's see, we're going to Holbrook. Okay, yeah. I guess the next exit will be the one. <clears throat> yeah, 
kind of quite easier to drive here because it's it's not too. Oh, okay. Here's the exit. Yeah, it's mostly straight, so it's not too difficult. It's always tricky, you don't want to get stuck on the, on the uphill. Especially since they changed the sensibility of the clutch. So it's really, really easy to to stall your truck. It feels, almost it feels like a new clutch. Like a brand new clutch uh, disc. You guys have driven, you know, a uh, manual transmission. When the clutch is new, you 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 actually feel it. It bites so quick. You can't really feel the bite here. It's just uh, everything is so you know it's virtual. Since there's really no connections between the pedals and the truck, uh, you know, a, a physical truck. It's well simulated though. I felt worse. O honestly, I played so many games with clutch. Well, not that many, but like, play Gran Turismo. I played Project Cars here in my in my computer, uh, and I must say that Euro Truck Simulator and also an ATS have the best clutch feel of any game that I've tried so far. And Project Cars, that's an actual simulator, so you should do the trick. But yeah, you can't stall cars there, or well, you can, but. You could, you could release the clutch and the thing won't won't stall. You can actually get it moving, creeping a little. And we're here uh, again. Not much to see so far. Hopefully, in, in a, on my next trip, I'll be able to see some some more. Because so far, it looks really, really similar to Vega to Nevada. Except for, for the actual streets, you know, and the, and the highway, which looks it looks unique. I like it, but the scenery itself, man, it's pretty flat. Man, there's really not much to see. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Yeah, this truck is struggling with this thing. And we finally got to our destination. Pretty good sound. From the truck, by the way, I like that that fan, loud fan. It's not a loud truck, and it's fine. I mean, it's a luxury truck. <laughs> luxury, you know, quote quote. It's kind of a modern truck. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got yeah, we've yeah this this company doesn't look too different. You know, it's basically the same in any part of the map. And we made it. Alright. So, I'm just gonna leave the truck here because I don't think I'll be able to park it properly. Uh, well, I'm just gonna do a quick parking. And my thoughts so far? Well, you know, I really appreciate SES not reusing assets for, for the rest of the map. And that is... That is basically uh, something that I'm, I really, I'm really happy about. Like nothing feels the same, except for this company. I mean, some of the companies they look the same. Like this, this one is always, always the same. But for what I've seen, you know, the highways and everything, it looks pretty different. And I've been in in Phoenix. It, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's it's really nice, very unique. Now, this area and this video, what what we've seen, it's really not that that impressive I mean it's flat there's really not much to see but the actual the actual uh, highway you know the streets you know it it looks unique and that's and that's all right so next video hopefully we'll be seeing new stuff uh, I'm still discovering this as I go uh, I'm I haven't played I mean all my two videos from Arizona is basically as much as I've played on this new map so you're discovering with me as well unless you of course have played a lot more than I have but there you have it, and I hope you enjoyed it. It was there was not much to see. Uh, 
at least we got to enjoy the the new Volvo 670 which I will be making a video of uh, one of my mod trailers which is thankfully it's working still I mean I love this trailer it's again it's more of a joke the fact that I have it here is, is more, of, more of a little joke inside joke with myself and some friends that I know but I like the color you know it's well detailed it has the lights you know it has the chrome and it has the seagull wheels which is pretty cool it doesn't have like the regular steel wheels so yeah anyway stay tuned and I'll be uploading a new video pretty soon okay uh, we'll check we'll be checking out the Volvo 670 and all its features so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and I appreciate the comments if you leave them uh, thank you very much guys GT Husky saying goodbye